So now you can see how we can manifest things. We become creators and can manifest anything with sound. This will leave you speechless. Hello, this is Michael Tellinger. Is about to show you how the hidden rhythms of frequency shape our world. This is real, powerful, and it's all around us. So sit tight and let's dive in. What the total fields look like or that are created by the sounds we make when we speak. And phenomenal research and work has been done to show us what the different toroidal shapes and, and fields look like of different letters and different sounds, especially vowels. And then as we speak, these toroidal fields that we manufacture and we create with our mouths, infinite forms, infinite shapes, infinite creativity that we can, that we manifest, actually become scalar waves and scalar technology that go into all of creation and permeate all of creation instantly. It doesn't take light years for the thoughts we have or the words we speak to permeate all of creation. It happens instantaneously. A toroidal field is a captivating energy pattern that assumes the shape of a torus, reminiscent of a donut or a vortex. It serves as a gateway, connecting multiple dimensions and providing a conduit for the flow of energy and information. Within the realm of esoteric philosophy, the toroidal field is considered a fundamental structure underlying the fabric of reality itself. In the exploration of metaphysics and the hidden realms of existence, the concept of toroidal fields has emerged as a profound and captivating phenomenon. These fields, which manifest as torus-shaped energy patterns, are believed to serve as gateways to unseen dimensions, bridging the gap between the physical and the metaphysical. Research and observation have revealed that these toroidal fields are not solely abstract constructs, but are intimately intertwined with the human experience of language and communication. In particular, there exists a fascinating correlation between the shapes of toroidal fields and the sounds we produce, with a particular emphasis on vowels. The human vocal apparatus, with its intricate arrangement of the larynx, vocal cords, and resonating chambers, acts as a unique instrument through which the energy of speech is channeled. When we vocalize different letters and sounds, the intention behind the sound combines with the physical mechanics of our vocal apparatus, giving rise to a distinct toroidal pattern. For example, the vowel sound A is associated with a toroidal field that expands outward from the speaker, resembling a pulsating sphere of energy encompassing its surroundings. This expansive field signifies openness, creativity, and the primal spark of creation. On the other hand, the vowel sound O generates a toroidal field that loops back upon itself, evoking a sense of containment, introspection, and cyclical energy. Each letter and sound in the phonetic spectrum is thought to generate its own unique toroidal pattern, resonating with its corresponding energetic signature. The shape and characteristics of these toroidal fields are believed to arise from the interplay between the physical acts of vocalization, the intention behind the sound, and the metaphysical aspects of language. Moreover, the existence of distinct toroidal shapes and fields associated with different sounds and letters suggests a profound connection between the human voice and the fundamental structure of reality. It implies that language, in its essence, is not merely a tool for communication, but a conduit through which we interact with the energetic fabric of the universe. By exploring and understanding the intricate interplay between toroidal fields and the sounds we produce, we gain insight into the profound relationship between language and the unseen realms. The toroidal fields generated by our vocal expressions act as portals, allowing energy and information to flow between dimensions, transcending the boundaries of our physical reality. In Christianity, it's the word. In Hinduism, it's Om. The Egyptians believed the universe was sung into creation, and the original people of Australia believed that the world was um, created with three sacred songs. And then we have the phenomenal similarities between the six days of creation uh, in Christianity uh, and the word that created everything, the six aspects of Om, and the six aspects of the all-seeing eye of Horus, and you start seeing the connections between all these ancient cultures and the creation stories. 
Sound is a source of all creation. Sound and resonance is responsible for everything. Everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. We are told that this is how the world began and how creation took shape. We put that into the modern idiom and say that into the great voids of space came a sound and matter took shape. Among the building blocks of language, vowels hold a special significance in shaping our toroidal fields. Vowels, characterized by an open vocal tract and unobstructed airflow, serve as vehicles for the uninhabited expression of sound. Through focused research and observation, experts have delved into the distinct toroidal patterns evoked by different vowel sounds, revealing a mesmerizing symphony of energy that permeates our spoken words. The power of vowels lies in their ability to evoke unique toroidal fields, each with its own intricate pattern and energetic signature. Consider the sound of A as an example. This vowel sound generates a toroidal field that expounds outward from the speaker, embracing and encompassing its surroundings. It is as if this expansive field signifies the openness, creativity, and the primordial spark of creation itself. The A sound resonates with the depths of human expression, giving rise to a toroidal field that radiates with the potential for infinite possibilities. In contrast, the vowel sound E produces a toroidal field characterized by a spiraling motion. This field evokes energies of transformation and growth, symbolizing the perpetual cycle of renewal. The spiraling toroidal pattern mirrors the inherent dynamism and fluidity of life, capturing the essence of evolution and progress. With each utterance of the E sound, a symphony of spiraling toroidal fields unfolds, resonating with the transformative power of the spoken word. Every vowel sound manifests its own unique toroidal pattern, contributing to the rich symphony of energy that infuses our language. The vowel I generates a toroidal field that radiates with focused intensity, representing clarity and self-expression. The O sound produces a toroidal field that exhibits a circular, oscillating motion, symbolizing completeness and harmony. The U sound engenders a toroidal field with a constricting motion, reflecting the energy of consolidation and concentration. Each vowel sound adds its distinctive resonance to the multidimensional symphony that emanates from our spoken words. The interplay between vowels and their associated toroidal fields serves as a profound reminder of the inherent connection between language and the energetic fabric of existence. As we shape these toroidal fields through vocalization, we not only communicate with one another, but also engage with the unseen dimensions of reality. Our words become imbued with the vibrational essence of the toroidal fields they manifest, transmitting their energetic signatures into the fabric of creation. Moreover, this multi-dimensional symphony of vowels highlights the potential for intentional and conscious use of a language. By understanding the unique toroidal patterns evoked by each vowel sound, we gain the ability to harness the power of these energetic fields for various purposes. We can infuse our words with intention, directing the flow of energy in alignment with our desires and intentions. Through the conscious modulation of vowel sounds, we become active participants in the symphony of creation, shaping our reality through the energetic currents we generate. In conclusion, vowels form the cornerstone of language, and their significance extends beyond mere communication. Through the focused research and observation of experts, distinct toroidal patterns associated with different vowel sounds have been unveiled. Each vowel sound contributes its own unique resonance to the multidimensional symphony of energy that permeates our spoken words. By understanding and harnessing the power of these toroidal fields, we gain the ability to shape our reality and manifest our intentions through the intentional use of language. 
The Symphony of Vowels invites us to embrace the inherent creative potential within our voices as we contribute to the harmonious dance of energy that weaves through the tapestry of existence. And then Eric Larson is the guy that created the, the cymoscope, and this is when you can suddenly see how the human voice has potential to create infinitely. That with our voice, we have the potential to create everything and anything we can imagine. That we are indeed creators. And remember, every thought you have also has a frequency and a vibration as a resonance, just like your voice. And some of these pictures, the images of the of this um, cymoscope images, show, give, tell us that it was these sounds, the images of the sound, that actually inspired religious symbols. That beautiful cross in a circle at the center of some of these cymatic photographs give us a very clear indication that the creators of the religious symbols knew exactly what they were talking about, that the source of, of, of creation is sound itself. And that takes us to what sound does. Sound pretty much does everything you can imagine because it's a source of creation. Every sound we make, every sound, every letter of the alphabet has its own toroidal shape, specific shape. That is well defined and well studied and well recognized. Everything manifests as a torus shape or in a toroidal field. Everything around us, from galaxies to solar systems to, to all kinds of things, to atoms to electrons, Everything is a torus shape. The journey from toroidal fields to scalar waves unveils a remarkable transformation, bridging the realms of metaphysics and scientific principles. As we speak and emit these captivating toroidal fields, an extraordinary phenomenon occurs, the manifestation of scalar waves. Scalar waves, enigmatic in nature, possess a unique property that allows them to traverse space instantaneously, transcending the limitations of traditional electromagnetic waves. Scalar waves, unlike electromagnetic waves, are scalar in nature, devoid of polarity or directional flow. They operate in harmony with the fundamental fabric of the universe, permeating all levels of creation. This attribute grants them the ability to transcend the constraints of time and space, serving as messengers that connect distant realms in an instant. The transition from toroidal fields to scalar waves involves a complex interplay between metaphysical concepts and scientific principles. As the toroidal fields created by our vocal expressions intersect with the vast cosmic field, a metamorphosis occurs, transmuting these energetic patterns into scalar waves. This process is guided by the intricate dance of intention, vibration, and the energetic fabric of the universe. The toroidal fields, with their unique shapes and energetic signatures associated with different letters and sounds, become carriers of information and energy. When these toroidal fields interact with the vast cosmic field, their energy undergoes a transformation culminating in the emergence of scalar waves. This transformation occurs in an instant, transcending the constraints of time and space and permeates all of creation. The instantaneous propagation of scalar waves implies a non-locality of influence, where the thoughts and words we express possess the potential to shape reality beyond the confines of space and time. Scalar waves operate outside the traditional boundaries of cause and effect, allowing for an immediate and profound impact on the fabric of existence. Through the emission of these scalar waves, our intentions and the vibrational essence of our words permeate the interconnected web of creation, influencing it instantaneously. This connection between toroidal fields, scalar waves, and the instantaneity of their influence invites us to recognize the tremendous power we hold within our thoughts and words. We become aware of the far-reaching implications of our communication, as our intentions and vibrations extend beyond the limitations of our immediate surroundings. 
the manifestation of scalar waves underscores our role as co-creators, as our conscious expressions reverberate through the interconnected tapestry of existence. Understanding the transformative journey from toroidal fields to scalar waves inspires us to approach our thoughts and words with mindfulness and intentionality. We realize that our expressions hold the potential to shape not only our personal reality, but also the collective consciousness. Each word becomes an energetic ripple that spreads instantaneously, carrying the essence of our intentions and influencing the unfolding dance of creation. What's also important is that sound is actually a scalar tool. Scalar means harmonic. Harmonic resonant or resonant harmonics, scales like musical scales. And this is why sound is such an important role because sound is a primordial scalar tool and scalar source of energy. And, uh, and this brings us to using sound as a tool and technology. Sound creates light. It's very obvious. We know that God said, let there be light. And you can do this yourself by attaching a speaker to an LED light and see what happens. Royal Raymond Drive, we, you should know by now that cured with the man that found the cure for all disease with sound and resonance that will convert to electric impulses and sound continues to to amaze us sound can levitate by now you would have seen this many times just a very quick idea that sound actually does levitate things but this is not how the ancients used to levitate the very big heavy objects this is a very different technique used here this is just pressure waves that can levitate things, very light objects, but it does give you the ability to imagine that sound actually levitates. Sound creates hurricanes. The guys, two guys in 2003 that lodged a patent to create hurricanes out of sound, believe it or not. And I believe they were granted their patent to create hurricanes. And maybe this is how they create the weather for us without us even realizing it. And this is where we start getting into the real understanding of some of the masters and no matter how I look at it, how much research I do, I keep coming back to one guy that stands head and shoulders above all other researchers and inventors of, I don't know, for how many centuries. And that guy's name is Nikola Tesla. He says, if you want to find out the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. It's exactly, that's exactly what I've been sharing with you here. Everything is sound and magneticism, and this is really important. So <clears throat> what most people don't know is, remember, sound, God said, let there be light. So it's sound, moving sound. Sound manifests as toroidal fields. Those two moving toroidal fields create magnetic fields, which are toroidal fields as well. And moving magnetic fields create electricity. That's the sequence of events. But what you, this tells us that because sound creates magnetic fields, it means everything must have a magnetic, uh, must be magnetic in some sort and in some sort of way and if it's not there's a very specific reason why it's not magnetic so here's an example you might not think of water as being magnetic but it is and so are graphite aluminum and glass aluminum is a good example of a paramagnet and so is oxygen which is attracted to magnets here i have a few milliliters of liquid oxygen which sticks to the magnet I'll explain why later. Gadolinium oxide and cupric sulfate are good examples of paramagnetic substances. Cupric sulfate is a salt that can be picked up by a magnet. Here is a picture of, the elect of an electron. There's a picture taken about a, de uh, a decade ago. They tell us that this is a light beam or electron riding a light beam. Can you see a particle anywhere in this picture? No, there's no particle. They're resonant waves, and yet they tell us it's an electron. Can you see how we get brainwashed? So this is what Nikola Tesla has to say about the electron from an interview in 1928. On the whole subject of, of, of matter, in fact, Dr. Tesla holds the view that uh, are startlingly original. Uh, he disagrees with the concept of atomic theory of matter and does not believe in the existence of an electron as pictured by science. This is a shock to the system because we all think oh, electrons are low, oh, electrons, electrons are real. And, uh, and you start seeing an agenda being developed here, an agenda to being developed by mainstream universities, the mainstream scientific fraternity, under the guidance of those that are trying to lie to us and make us believe things that are not so. 
Um, the Einstein, this is what Einstein has to say about the electrons. In the theoretical treatment of these electrons, we are faced with the difficulty that electrodynamic theory itself is unable to give an account of their nature. For since electrical masses constituting the electron would necessarily be scattered under the influence of their mutual repulsion unless there are forces of another kind operating between them, the nature of which has hitherto remained obscure to us. So he says he so you know he doesn't quite understand how electrons come into being. And he tells us that millions of people all over the world are being fooled by the non-existing electron. And he has a lot more to say about this. And you start seeing that scientists and inventors and researchers over the last 200 years have been vehemently opposed to this whole concept of an electron and the atomic structure that has been forced down our throats and down all and through all our educational institutions. That we just take for granted and we accept because we believe the guys that teach us this to be smart and they're not lying to us. We just accept the stuff. Delving into the realms of toroidal fields and scalar waves unveils the extraordinary creative potential inherent in the act of speaking. As we engage in the profound interplay between language and the fabric of reality, our words become more than mere communication. They become conduits for energy and information that evoke transformative scalar waves reverberating throughout the cosmos. The intricate connection between speech and creation invites us to approach language with heightened awareness and intention. Every word we choose, every intention we infuse, and every vibration we emit through speech carries the power to shape our personal experiences and influence the collective consciousness. We become co-creators, actively participating in the symphony of existence as our thoughts and words instantaneously permeate all levels of creation. Language acts as a catalyst for transformation, serving as a bridge between the physical and metaphysical realms. The toroidal fields generated by our vocal expressions interact with the energetic fabric of the universe giving rise to scalar waves that carry our intentions, thoughts, and emotions far beyond the confines of our immediate surroundings. These scalar waves become vehicles for the manifestation of our desires and the realization of our creative potential. The creative power of speech lies in our ability to consciously shape the energetic currents that flow through our words. By understanding the profound connection between language and the interplay of toroidal fields and scalar waves, we gain insight into the transformative nature of our expressions. Each word becomes a brushstroke on the canvas of reality, contributing to the infinite forms, shapes, and boundless creativity that manifest through our conscious engagement with language. Moreover, this understanding of the creative potential of speech reminds us of our responsibility as co-creators. We are called to approach our words with mindfulness, recognizing the impact they can have on ourselves and others. By infusing our language with positive intentions, love, and compassion, we contribute to the harmonious symphony of existence, uplifting and transforming the collective consciousness. The instantaneity with which our thoughts and words permeate all levels of creation signifies the interconnectedness of all existence. It reinforces the understanding that we are not separate from the universe, but deeply intertwined with it. As we engage in conscious communication, we tap into the universal flow of energy, aligning ourselves with the rhythms of creation. By harnessing the creative potential of speech, we have the power to bring about positive change in our lives and in the world around us. Our words become instruments of transformation, allowing us to shape our reality and inspire others. Through conscious communication, we can ignite the spark of creativity in ourselves and others, fostering growth, healing, and the expansion of consciousness. Throughout our exploration of toroidal fields, the multidimensional symphony of vowels, the connection to scalar waves, and the creative potential of speech, we have uncovered the profound interplay between language 
energy, and the unseen dimensions of existence. These concepts have illuminated the transformative power of intentional communication and the ability to shape our reality. In line with this understanding, we invite you to consider the remarkable potential of our self-hypnosis program. By repetitively engaging in this practice, you can create toroidal fields that resonate with your intentions, facilitating profound transformation and personal growth. Through the intentional use of vowels and energy, the program harnesses the same power as your own spoken words, guiding you on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Take the next step on your transformative path by clicking the link in the description. By doing so, you gain access to our self-hypnosis program, where you can experience the profound effects of generating toroidal fields aligned with your desires. Allow the program to support you in rewiring your subconscious mind, replacing limiting beliefs, and activating dormant energies within.